are visiting the new Jurassic Mall which is connecting East Coast to Changi Airport. I'm here at uh, Terminal 4 at the entrance of Kapak 4A. So from here I will try to show you how we can walk uh, all the way down to Jurassic Mile, how long, uh, how far away the place is, how the place looks like and so on and so forth and hope that gives you a very useful uh, overview uh, if you want to bring your children and uh, family along or if you want to uh, come here on your own. We uh, drove here to Kapak 4A as mentioned but you can also take a cab uh, to Kapak 4A. I think uh, it's also quite easy if you uh, go via a train or other forms of public transport. But for now, I'm going to focus uh, our journey from Kapak 4A since that's where I uh, parked the car. We uh, will be walking to the Jurassic Mile from here. Uh, you can see behind me there's a few bicycles that pass by because this is part of the whole PCN network that goes all the way down to uh, East Coast on that side. Okay, and uh, it ends at Terminal 2 going um, towards uh, where I'm facing. Okay, so here we are uh, starting our journey. On our left is Kapak 4A and uh, this is the, we are walking towards the zebra crossing. And once you cross this road, you will see the entrance to the Changi Jurassic Mile. Here's a map of uh, the place uh, that marks the spot of where we are and we'll be going towards the Jurassic Mark. Let's see how far it is uh, from this uh, point. So, as mentioned, uh, that's the car park 4A where we were from. Uh, so far there's been quite a number of cyclists and this is a weekday I can't imagine how it will be uh, on a weekend it will definitely be crowded so if you are bringing uh, your kids on their bicycle make sure that they are able to cycle steadily um, including uh, other forms of transport like scooter and so on and so forth alright so actually uh, I think we are already reaching the Jurassic Mile. Uh, I also want to give you a rough uh, sense of the width of this uh, place. You can see it's quite narrow. Uh, if uh, two people were to walk abreast, I think that takes up half the lane or maybe even slightly more than half. Uh, with bicycles coming back and forth, uh, that makes it uh, slightly more dangerous. So uh, do be careful when you are here Right, so here's another map uh, that's where we are at the start of Jurassic Mile so we're walking all the way to the end and then turning back so there are actually there are actually nine species of dinosaurs and they are all listed here. Uh, once again, uh, we are here and we'll be going through the whole park looking at all these dinosaurs ending with uh, the pterodactyl. You see that there is a big crowd coming up. As you can see, it's really very difficult to cycle here. Uh, even walking is tough. You have to keep looking back and forth. Um, oops! That's the first uh, dinosaur exhibit, which is the Triceratops. Okay. 
Hey, and what dinosaur is this? Velociraptor Blue. Velociraptor? Oh, Blue is a name, is it? Name of blue color. Yeah. Whoa, look! It destroyed the vehicle. Yeah. No, dinosaur A. Yeah. We reached the highlight of the place, which is the T Rex. of cyclists going to and fro uh, once again it's a very narrow path there is a small space here for photography uh, but it's really really very narrow Stegosaurus. So at every uh, dinosaur exhibit, there will be some information about the dinosaur. Like for example here, what uh, the Stegosaurus uh, means. The size, where they are found, the distribution, and some even some uh, reference to design. That's very interesting. And we are at the Paris Lot Office exhibit. And we are at uh, Apatosaurus. This probably is the largest one. Behind me is the end of the Jurassic Mile. And so when we uh, move uh, towards uh, where I'm looking at, we'll be going towards uh, East Coast uh, PCN. So that took us about 25 minutes with uh, lots of stoppages, photo taking and me uh, videoing. So that's a quite a quick uh, uh, walk. Uh, apparently it's about one uh, kilometer long. So that took about us about 25 minutes. So 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, some um, recommendations. Uh, as we were walking through, I realized that it's really very very crowded. You can see here the bicycle bells ringing. Uh, continuously uh, there's uh, a lot of bicycles going in both directions with very very narrow path I actually wouldn't recommend uh, you bringing your kids uh, on their bikes in fact personally I would also not recommend you to cycle through here unless of course you is on the way to Changi Airport then uh, I think you'll be good if you can dismount at certain crowded uh, areas I also wouldn't recommend you to come here on a weekend. Uh, this is a weekday that I'm here. Uh, it's a Monday uh, and it's already so crowded. Uh, I know that it needs booking on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But I think uh, it will be really, really very crowded on the weekends. So maybe until the craze dies down, uh, weekend will be alright. But for now, I suggest try your best to come here on a weekday. Right? So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, I'll be uh, happy to uh, let you know things that I may have forgotten to include in this video. Right? So now we are walking back to uh, Terminal 4, Kapak 4A, back to our car, and we are going off for dinner. Right, so this is the map uh, at the end of the Jurassic Mile. So that's where we are. 
as you can see, we'll be going that that way is where we came from uh, towards Changi Airport, um, and uh, we if you go the other way, uh, which is that way, you see lots of uh, bicycles coming. Uh, that will be the Changi Coastal uh, Park Connector Extension going towards East Coast Park, right? Um, I just saw a road there. Know whether you can see. Maybe I'll zoom in uh, during the edits. But uh, it seems that this is uh, another reasonable place for you to park your car. I'm not sure whether it's legal, but uh, if you park your car there, uh, then you can start off your path here at the end of the Jurassic Mile. Depending on whether you call it the start or the end. So uh, to me, this is the end of the Jurassic Mile. The end of the Jurassic Mall, uh, going towards NSRCC. Uh, so this whole length is about one kilometer. We took 25 minutes to walk through this whole half here, and that's where we parked our car. So it's a short walk, just crossing the road towards uh, Jurassic Mall. All right, so we are finally at the end of the track, or rather, back to our starting point, back at Terminal Four. So that took about twenty-five minutes uh, to the end of Jurassic Mile, and twenty minutes back uh, when we took it faster because. We were just going straight without okay. stopping for photos. The number of uh, cyclists also started to reduce. So maybe uh, it would be better for you to go slightly later. That would be ideal. Uh, it is still open at night. Uh, there's lots of spotlight. So I think it would be quite interesting to also go at night. Right? So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and uh, hope to hear from you guys when you come here to visit. See you!